It's time for our technology segment and joining us now is our tech reporter, Paul Ndeho. Paul. Hello, Esther. Hi. How are you? A Nigerian boy has launched a hide-and-seek gaming app by using free programming application called Scratch. His mobile game, which is accessible online, features animations and storytelling. He has incredibly created over 30 games. Bessel Opera Jr. loves playing video games, but he loves making them even more. At the age of nine, he has created dozens of games. He called the first game Frog Attack. Gamers shoot alien frogs that have attacked the earth. Frog Attack is my favorite because it was my first game that I built on Construct 2 and is full of action. Dessel has created 34 other games using a free coding application called Scratch 2, which allows users to create games, animations, and other digital stories online or offline. Earlier this year, Bessel's father signed him up for a boot camp called Code Fist, where he learned coding, computer programming, and how to create mobile games and other skills. The boot camp targeted young Nigerians of 5 to 15 years old. I started coding this year, and it was a boot camp that taught me how to code. The name of the boot camp was Code Fist, and why I like to build games because. The games are much fun to play, and when I play them, I feel like I'm the owner of a game. Leapfrogging into technological innovation is a quick way to attain lasting economic growth and development, according to some tech experts. Bessel's most recent game is Falling Apples, where a player tries to catch as many apples as possible, receiving one point for each apple found. During his spare time, he teaches other kid coders a game of programming skills. Like many kids his age, Bessel's biggest fan and inspiration is his father. When I found out that he's interested in technology, I was excited because I know that there is a huge potential in the technology industry around the world. You know, being able to write codes, being able to build things, being, being able to, to program robots, to program something to behave the way you want it to behave is very exciting. So I didn't have that opportunity growing up. So I felt like it was important to support him to do whatever he wants to do. Bessel has great potential to grow as a game developer, especially in Africa where only 16% of its 1.2 billion people use the internet according to the International Telecommunications Union. That's a today's a technology report. Back to you, Esther. Hey, Paul. That's a first in Nigeria. I mean, that kid is amazing. Is in, this the first one in Africa at that age to create games online? Not really, but uh, uh, his story is incredibly amazing uh, in a sense that uh, he has been able to inspire a lot, a lot of young people. As uh, I, I, If you watched in the package, there was a boot camp and that guy was technically in charge of the boot camp. <laughs> So where, where, where are we looking next in terms of technology next week? What are you planning for us? I mean, the sky is the limit. <laughs> there is so much uh, amazing stuff uh, coming out of Africa. And uh, every week I'll be bringing you something that is incredibly, incredibly uh, beautiful from Africa. Definitely. I wish I would do something like that. But now I'm past nine years old, Paul. <laughs> well, you can always pass on that to your son, right? Sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Paul, thank you again. Be sure to watch uh, Paul and Diho's uh, segment on technology every Wednesday on Africa 54.